Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are continuing to build our CRUD operations using ExpressJS MongoDB. In the last episode, we have created the initial project setup, the template using Express Generator. We installed Mongo's library, we imported that and we created a basic model, right? So today we are going to extend that and create operations in terms of create and post. Post will create a new document in the collection. We'll learn all about that in today's episode. Let's get started. This is part 19 of the ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. These are the topics that I've already covered in the previous, uh, previously in this particular series. Make sure you check them out if you really want to learn and master ExpressJS framework. Also, if you have any doubts, please drop them in the comments section below. I'll be more than happy to help you. Today we are creating, uh, we are learning about the CRUD operations create or post method. All right. So before we get started, uh, make sure that you check out the MongoDB playlist that also that's also in the channel uh, that would help you learn MongoDB from scratch from scratch it's for be beginners so you will learn from basics to advanced and much more all right so we are uh, in the series where we are learning about CRUD operations uh, in the previous episode I explained to you about the CRUD features which is create read update and delete today we are going to implement create or post method. All right, so we'll do it in two steps. One, we will create an object for this model and then we will use it to save that particular document in the collection. Once we do that, we will be able to retrieve it. So we will know that you have correctly uh, saved it or not. Okay, so we are going to check that right away. Let's get started. Alright, so for our friends who are joining us new in this particular episode, uh, make sure that you see the previous episode because I'm writing down all the steps that you need to work with ExpressJS and MongoDB. Today we are continuing with step number eight, which is create method, which is post method. And we will implement this uh, to save the data. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do in the routes, right? So we are doing a student module. So I'm just going to copy this as it is, which is there in the users.js, which comes by default and create a new route file and call it students.js. Just copy paste as it is. So, and once you do this, go to app.js, create it here and say students, students router and here import the students. So we are importing the newly created routes for students and adding it to app.js. Once you do that, then define the route here and say app.use and we are going to say slash students should point to students router, right? So once you, what you're telling is whenever in a URL we have slash students, we are going to use that route for routes folder, right? So it will come here whenever we have the student slash students. So once we do this, we should be good to see the basic routes. All right. So to show you, uh, we are going to first run and check if this is up and running. Students route works. Right. Let's run it. NPM run start. So now what we are going to do is we are just going to run our application and add slash students in front of it. So now it says students route works. That means it's entering to our route, which is good. So now what we are going to do is create a, a new object of what of the type student, which is what we are going to use. So let's get started. And what we are going to do here is install it and save it. So how do we do that? Let's get started by saving it. So first we'll require const mongoose is equal to require mongoose okay so we inst we got the mongoose because that's what we are going to use the schema for and then we also created a schema right if you remember in the previous episode 
we created student model so we are going to bring that also here and we are going to say dot slash oh this is one level up so we are going to say model slash student model all right so we got the mongoose library we got the student model so what we are going to do is create a new route and we are going to say slash student slash add right so whenever there is student slash add it should come here inside this and here we are going to process the data and how are we exactly going to do that we are going to create a new object first right so what we are going to do we are going to say let and then we are going to say new student student equal to now here we will use our mongoose model that we created dot dot model right and then we are going to say that which one are we going to use it right so for that let me quickly show you that as well okay so what we are going to do that's the model that we got so here we are going to okay so it's a new object of schema so we are going to say new student dot save that's that's the command we will run but before that what we need is we need the person right so let's do that also and say new student model and here we are going to build that particular object uh, let's get it from here student schema so we have the student model go to students here and then say 100 here we are going to say ABC so basically I'm assigning the values right so I see and give some date again some some date format that you want to use right and then some right so save this and format this here we got it here so now you are saying new student dot save that's the method of mongodb to save right so here you are telling what you are trying to save i'm saying we are trying to save this and then we are going to save function if there is any error catch it if not use this new to build it here and then we are going to right and here if it was able to successfully save it then we will say send a, the newly created response right and here we are going to say if error can do this right if error do this else show the right so I'm saying if there is error show the error else um, show it else say return the newly created object right so how we can do that is like this we can create a JSON object here and send that so I'm going to say message I'm going to say user added successfully and then I'm going to say student object equal to new student right so that's right uh, there seems to be, okay so it is a JSON object so it has to be in the closing brace here okay so once you have done that okay so you got the your returning message as this you can also return status 200 and say this is was okay status 200 message user added and student right so one thing that we missed out um, doing in the previous episode was to create a uh, instance right of connection because you haven't told what is the mongoose connect right so what we are going to do in the app.js we are going to connect that so here I'm going to use this and here I'm going to say mongoose dot connect right so 
here we are giving the MongoDB details. So we'll give MongoDB, right? So once you do that, then you are going to say, where is it hosted? I'm saying it's on my local host. And what is the database name, right, that you have used? So in my case, I have a something called CRM. So I'm going to use that. Um, so you can create anything in your MongoDB. Please do check, check MongoDB tutorial on how to create that. Um, so once we have it, so we have the, so what we did here is create the, create the MongoDB connection. And then we created our object, create new object of model, right? That, and step number 10 is to actually do call save method. Right, save method, which would do a create or a post, right? All right, so let's just verify it once. So we got our student slash add. That's the route we added. Now this, for now I'm leaving it get, but we'll do it with postman. So it will become post. Ideally, it should be like this, that you post the data, right? So, but for now let's test it with get. And I have the new student object, which has some values. I Once I do save, if it is successful, we'll see the message, else it will give us the error. In the app.js, we have connected to the MongoDB. All right, beautiful. So now let's go and test it out. Okay, so there are no errors uh, here, but we see that it has connected to the MongoDB. Now let's go to our student slash add, right? That's the, we are saying. So now it says student added successfully. It is giving me the ID, you see? Right. So this is the ID because it inserted it. That's why it has inserted all the details. Along with that, it has given underscore ID, which means that is the unique ID that every time we insert MongoDB will add a unique key or primary key, which is underscore ID, which is used for referencing. Right. So user added successfully and that is our post operation. Right. That means we have created a new data and we added it. Right. Usually what happens is this data will come from dynamically from form or through postman. We will convert this later. So I have started a new uh, mean stack tutorial as well. So make sure you check that out. Mean stack full tutorial uh, where we will do all of these operations uh, dynamically. Right. So we will at some point of time, I'll convert maybe here also in ExpressJS tutorial. But for now, you know that this is all the static values that we are passing it will insert it. Okay. We'll convert this into dynamic values sometime later down the line in the series. But for now, you should understand how to connect, how to create data and how to send the data to save it. That is your create slash post operation. In the next episode, I will show you how to retrieve data using get method. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you are enjoying and learning from this series. Stay tuned. Please do subscribe to my channel. Please do like the video. Thank you again.